girl hey welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're returning if you are new my name is Trishina. i run this channel the stylish engineer and my channel is where beauty brains and fashion collide so today's video is actually going to be a really fun one for me i love sharing my fragrances with you all i've accumulated quite a few girl over the last few months so i wanted to do an updated video on my fragrance collection this one is just going to be focusing on the fragrances that i've been wearing during this winter season so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right girl i am going to start off with this fragrance here this is ebony wood by zara i love this fragrance but this is definitely a fragrance to me that screams fall and winter season i'm gonna be looking at my phone y'all so if you see me looking down i'm checking out the notes so i can share that with you all so the notes in this fragrance are pink pepper cloves and ebony wood this is definitely a spicy fragrance i love the spiciness of it i love wearing spicy warm fragrances during the winter time if you haven't checked out zara's fragrances girl you need to do not sleep on zara's fragrances so they smell good this one literally lasts all day like i kid you not it will last all day i highly recommend you all to check this out zara's fragrances are extremely affordable i want to say she was like 35 dollars which is a really really good price for the size and for the fact that this will remain on you all day long okay the next one is another zara fragrance and it's called fields at nightfall i just love zara's bottles they're beyond minimal but i love that i love a minimal perfume bottle because it's just so classy and chic but the notes of this fragrance are praline jasmine and sandal wood it's extremely feminine it's extremely elegant i'm actually going to spray her on because i just really like this one. This one I can definitely put her on and still put other things on top and it won't be like overpowering. Oh yes. <laughs> I haven't worn her in a little while so I kind of forgot how she smelled and I actually do smell the jasmine in this. Jasmine is one of my favorite fragrances in perfume. If a perfume has jasmine your girl's probably gonna get another zara fragrance <laughs> coming for you all this one is fashionably london i'm gonna spray her as well because i kind of forgot what she smells like but i know i didn't really like it but sometimes i just kind of forget what they smell like so i have to remind myself what it smelled like as far as the notes go it is bergamot rose and musk and Mm, smells so good y'all I was <laughs> I got distracted but I was gonna say and the rose in this does really come through this one I think you probably could wear it even during the warmer months as well like during the spring and the summer but it's something about this it's probably the must that's making it more of a winter vibe for me. It kind of has a powdery note to it as well. It kind of reminds me of like baby powder a little bit. This just smells really, really good. I highly recommend you all look into Fashionably London and just highly recommend you all to look into Zara fragrances in general because this one was $19, $20 or so. And again, these stick, they last, they stay on your body and they smell amazing. This is actually from a brand called Okcha. Okcha is a brand that um, makes inspired fragrances and this one is actually inspired by Delina. So I'm gonna actually spray her on i'm running out of places to spray i would spray her on my palm i guess to see the fragrance notes are lychee rhubarb bergamot nutmeg turkish rose peony musk patalia vanilla cashmere cedar haitian vetiver and incense right off the bat i smell the turkish rose i have turkish rose by nest and I really, really smell the same kind of notes in both of those perfumes. Anyway, needless to say, this smells really, really good. It's a very nice feminine fragrance. It's very powerful, strong, yet soft, elegant, and feminine. I'm sure you're gonna give many, many compliments. I love this fragrance so much. I kind of wore her out a little bit when I first got it, but girl, 
trust me if you get it you're gonna understand why she is that girl okay this is one of my favorite fragrances and it is the valentino born in roma this smells like wealth to me this just smells like wealth riches <laughs> and all that and all the above it is a floral scented fragrance and the notes are black currant jasmine grandiflorum and bourbon vanilla so i want to spray it on so i can actually smell it did i spray i don't think i sprayed it in my palm here so i'll spray it in my palm there oh my goodness girl i have forgotten how she smelled i know i loved it but i have forgotten how she smelled so this is described as a warm floral fragrance. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is it. This is that girl too. All my fragrances are that girl. This smells so, so lovely. It is a warm scent. That's why I love it for winter time. If you're someone who likes floral fragrances, a little more feminine fragrances, but you want it to be something that you can wear during colder seasons, I would highly recommend her. This next fragrance is actually an inspired fragrance. It is a oil-based perfume. It's from a brand called Aldunia. This one is actually inspired by Tom Ford's Effin Fabulous. And it smells fabulous, okay? <laughs> the key notes in this fragrance are leather, tonka bean, and sage. And to me, that is winter time. Like leather, tonka bean. It kind of has a powderiness to it, but it also has like a spicy warmth to it as well. Because I definitely get the spiciness, the warmth, the gourmand. Um, it's strong yet delicate, somewhat, but powerful. It's just all that wrapped into one. I, it's hard to explain, but I really, really like this. I recently got it and I've been wearing this like pretty much every day since I got it for like a week now. I really, really like this scent. Okay, next up is Miss Floral Lavender. This is a dossier scent that's inspired by YSL Libre perfume. Just to read off the notes, they are Mandarin Neruli Black Current. Jasmine, lavender, orange blossom, vanilla, and amber musk. Let me spray it on. Hold on, y'all. Let me do it right here. <laughs> okay. Mmm. I really, really, really love YSL's Libre. I'll call it floral lavender because that's what this actually is. I love floral lavender. <laughs> this is already my second bottle of it. I went through that bottle so quickly it's just such a nice comforting smell to me it's also a powerful smell to me it's a feminine smell it's just everything i need in one perfume i am a major fan of lavender and jasmine and the fact that this has both of them wrapped in one they literally could not go wrong with that combination when it comes to me. Okay, I'm sharing another dossier fragrance with you. It is called Oriental Tobacco. They recently changed the name to Powdery Tobacco and it is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, okay? The notes of this one are tobacco, ginger, apricot, honey, vanilla, cocoa, tonka bean, dry fruits, and blonde woods. And to me, all of those notes scream winter time. Maybe not the ginger and the apricot, but the other ones, they definitely scream winter time. To me, the vanilla is what really stands out. This fragrance is something that is going to demand attention. Like, it's definitely going to demand attention if you wear it. It's very assertive, it's very demanding. Um, I don't know if this is even a female, or I don't know if it's unisex, female, male, I'm not sure, but something about this is giving masculine it's giving like a male like a dominating <laughs> vibe to it y'all the next fragrance is spicy orchid it's another dossier fragrance and it is inspired by black orchid by tom ford but the top notes in this are cinnamon pink pepper and mandarin the middle notes are lang lang orchid and plum and the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, incense, and patchouli. If you don't like fragrances that are really, really powerful, that smell, that have like a really unique smell, you probably won't like this girl, but I love this fragrance. It personally mixes very nicely with my body chemistry. I'm gonna go on and spray her. I'll spray her right here. But this fragrance is just so bold. It's hypnotizing. It's 
captivating. It's it's definitely going to have people questioning like, what is that? Like the orchid is very, very strong in it. It's just a really, really beautiful mixing of notes. Like, oh my goodness. Like you don't even have to be right up on it. You don't even have to spray a lot to be honest. You don't have to put a lot on and you don't have to be right up on a person to smell it. This is probably one of my favorite. It's probably, if not top one, definitely top three. All right, sis, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know for future reference to continue making these fragrance videos for you. If you have any questions or just wanna chat it up with your girl, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And lastly, if you have not yet subscribed to your girl's channel, girl, make sure to do that before you leave and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever your girl uploads amazing content such as what you saw today. I hope you're enjoying your day. Stay safe, stay blessed, and as usual, stay stylish. Bye, y'all.